Uh, my name is uh, Jeremy Kern, I'm captain uh, with the Samuel County Fire Department. Can you tell me, uh, can you spell that? Make sure we get it right. Jeremy Kern, J-E-R-E-M-Y, Kern, K-E-R-N. Tell me what happened with uh, So about uh, 312 this afternoon uh, in the city of Victorville, we received a report of a possible uh, a trapped subject in a, uh, a leech pit um, here in the intersection. It's roughly in the area of Bear Valley and Cyprus. Uh, we initially responded uh, with a uh, rescue response, which included a battalion chief, uh, truck company, which is the first to uh, the company here in this area, as well as a heavy rescue out of our Oak Hills Fire Station, Station 305 in the city of Asperia. Uh, initial reports uh, to our communication center stated a possible eight-year-old uh, child had fallen into a hole or a sinkhole or a leech pit. Uh, once we arrived on scene, our firefighters quickly uh, assessed the scene and found that they did have a, a young child, an eight-year-old boy, who had fallen into a leech pit. With the recent weather and rains and uh, the ground uh, softening, the hole opened up and the child fell to about to 10 feet, 15 feet down into that leech pit. Um, due to the ground instability, the firefighters initially arrived on scene to secure the ground. Uh, they placed ladders over that hole to reduce any further uh, envelopment of the child or any uh, uh, dropping out of any other uh, dirt around that uh, entry point. Uh, from there, our uh, battalion chief arrived on scene, requested additional personnel to effect the rescue. Uh, the child at that point was conscious, he was talking. Uh, and able to uh, communicate with firefighters on scene uh, above the hole, above the ground. Uh, they, at that point, uh, lowered in some ropes, uh, which the child was actually able to attach to himself around his waist, to secure his waist and his torso, as well as his arms, and uh, they were able to extract the child uh, via those attachment points uh, and uh, pull him out of the hole. At this point, our paramedics are on scene evaluating the child. Uh, it appears he does have uh, minor injuries. Uh, it's yet to be determined whether he's going to be transported or not. Um, so at this point, uh, 
We had a total of uh, 12 firefighters on scene. We had two truck companies, one heavy rescue, a battalion chief, as well as an engine company, and uh, one of our medic animals is from the city of Asperia. So he actually fell straight down then, right? On yeah, the he, fell, he fell straight down. Uh, there is some liquid uh, down at the bottom of the pit. Um, and when our firefighters uh, initially arrived on scene, he was conscious, he was talking, um, and only minor complaints at that point. Uh, initial report said he may have been autistic. Any confirmation on that? Uh, I don't have any information on that. Okay, and uh, was this uh, was it a broken pipe or anything, or just a normal uh, pit that uh, opened up? Right now, the city of uh, Victor will have to come out and assess that. Uh, from what we see, it looks like a leach pit that just opened up at the top. Uh, and there is that liquid on the bottom there, and there is some sloughing of that, uh, the dirt uh, that is softened in moisture uh, from all the recent moisture at the very top of the hole. Name one more time. Uh, Jeremy Kern, J-E-R-E-M-Y, Kern, K-E-R-N. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks, I appreciate it.